Hey guys, in this video I will show you how I made these super slow-mo clips with the help of Topaz Video AI 6. So I'm starting out in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I use for my editing. And I have some clips here of uh, kite surfers that I shot a few days ago with my uh, Canon C70 and the RF 100 to 500 lens. So let's just drop one of them in here and create a new sequence. And uh, the reason to why I am doing this in Premiere first is because I want to crop out just a few seconds of the original clip to, to make my super slow-mo clip. And I do apply the standard C-Log2 LUT from Canon and some light color correction before I slow it down in Topaz. Uh, and you can, of course, apply color grading after you have slowed down the clip, but this is the way I do it. So just some simple adjustments here to the contrast, shadows and highlights here. Something like this will do, I think. And then I crop out the part of the video that I'm going to slow down. And as you can see, this clip is already slowed down because it was filmed in 120 frames per second. And now here in Premiere, it's played back on a 25 FPS timeline. So it's already uh, five times slowed down to start with. And I recommend you to crop out a part that's maybe between five and 10 seconds long, because what I'm gonna do is to slow this down four times further in Topaz, which then means that a 10 second clip will become 40 seconds and so on. And the next step is to export this clip and I prefer ProRes 422. It keeps a rather high quality and it's very easy to work with. It's very compatible with different softwares. It runs very smoothly. And then I just drop this clip into Topaz Video AI and here I want to check frame interpolation, which is the feature for slowing down your clips. So here you can choose from a number of presets or you can make your own settings. For uh, this clip, I want to use four times slow motion. And you can also experiment a little bit with different AI models. Uh, I'm going to use the one called Aeon which uh, gives the highest quality according to Topaz. It's also the one that's most consuming for your computer. It's, uh, it, it's quite demanding, but uh, that's what I'm using. And you can also play around with pre-renders of one to five seconds to check before you export the entire thing. But I'm just gonna save this here and you automatically get an add-on to, uh, to the end of your file name indicating what AI model you used. So I'm just gonna Keep that and render it out. And if you click export queue here, you can see the entire progress. And now we're back in Premiere, uh, just dropping this, uh, this slow down clip from Topaz here. And uh, I'm gonna create just a new sequence from this clip. And as you can see, it's quite slowed down now. It's, it's very, very slowed down. Th this would actually mean that it was shot in 480 frames per second if it was the native frame rate from the camera. So quite slow. And now I'm also gonna add a speed ramp. So I click this little symbol and choose timer mapping speed. And then I hold command on my keyboard and left click on my clip to be able to make this speed ramp. And then I control the playback speed of this clip by dragging this, uh, this horizontal line up and down. And if we do some math here, we discover that in this specific case, I will need to increase the playback speed by 1920% to get it to play in real time because that's how I want the clip to start and then transition into the slow motion part. But now when I play this back, we can see that the slow motion part starts like very abrupt. So what I do next is that I pull these little markers sort of splitting the transition apart. And if I pull this little line and create sort of an S curve here, I will get a nice transition from real time into super slow motion. And then you can play around and move these markers back and forth. Uh, just trial and error a little bit and play it back un until you get the transition where exactly where you want it. 
So something like this looks good, I think. So that is basically it. And I think that if you give Topaz Video AI a 120 FPS clip with good sharpness and details to start with, you can get some really nice results from this. And I will probably keep on using this in those cases where I want that buttery smooth super slow motion. So I'm just gonna add some additional longer clips here that I have slowed down and also a few bullet points, a few key takeaways. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, feel free to click those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.